Halo halo Jambu Karibu ni sana. Kati washinda Asante sana kwa ya St. Mark uh, CCIC For that number Munena David Mogo Karibu sana Kwaana ya kubariki Alfred Mayondi, umekua wapi siku mingi? Haribu sana. Amurwa. Wairimo, Tisha Mwalimo. How are you? Karibu ni sana katika devotion yetu ya jioni ya leo. It's a pleasure to have you. I trust that the Lord has been gracious to you. And I trust that you have had a good day. Hii kitu ya corona bado igali ina, inaendelea. So if you thought that it was a joke, it is not a joke. I am told that we are now at 59 positive cases. And that is very serious. So please take care wherever you are. Keep praying. These are times like no other, but we thank God because he is still on the throne. So, from wherever you are tuned in from, we thank you because of this movement. A movement where we come together and encourage one another in the word of God. And Karibuni Sana. Yesterday we started on a series on... Uh, Psalm 27 and that is what we are going to continue on so we started on doing a, an introduction we actually looked at verse 1 only of Psalm 27 and that was the object of our devotion yesterday so that is where we are going to pick it up from Psalm 27 the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? So we briefly we talked about the Lord being the light. Thereby removing darkness, unveiling and showing us those things that are hidden. And we also talked about God being our salvation, our deliverer. 
And we also said that God is our refuge. He is our strength. Strength here means God is our refuge. Okay? Now, today, we are going to take this theme a little further. Okay? And we are going to be considering the confidence that David had in face of, number one, fear. Fear of what? Fear of circumstances that were surrounding him. So that is what we are going to be considering today. So we are going to look at Psalm 27 and we are going to read verse 1 to 6. Okay, Psalm 27, verses 1 to 6. I am reading from the New King James Version. Okay, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and my foes, they stubbled and fell. Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. Remember we are talking about confidence in God. Verse 4. One thing I have desired of the Lord that will I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Verse 5. For in the time of trouble. You can underline that. For in the time of trouble. He shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle. He shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret place of his tabernacle, he shall hide me. He shall set me high upon a rock. And now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies all around me. Therefore, I will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle. I will sing. Yes, I will sing praises to the Lord. Wow. Now, David had confidence in God. Even in face of circumstances that were surrounding him. Remember we said that David penned this psalm when he had not yet become the king of Israel. While he was still running away from King Saul, this is when he got this revelation and this encouragement. And he was saying that even though enemies encamp around him, even though people wage war against him, it does not matter the circumstances that he is faced with. He had confidence in God. Though an army encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may rise against me, in this... I will be confident. Now, we are looking at a situation in our country and in the globe at large where we have a war. And this war 
is a serious war because the enemy is not visible with the naked eyes. Because we are fighting a war that we cannot truly see the enemy. The enemy can be anything and anyone. I could be carrying the germs. You could be carrying the germs. That is why we are being told to stay away for 14 days from the crowds. And we are told to keep sanitizing and to keep washing our hands because we are at war. And one thing that we need to understand is that this war of Corona has brought fear. People are fearful. And because they are fearful, that is why I want us to encourage one another in the Lord. Because David says that he will not be afraid. Even though there are enemies around him, he will not be afraid. Why is he not going to be afraid? Because he had a secret. And the secret was he had a relationship with God. Now, we pray for the people who have tested positive and we pray for those who are sick in hospitals. We pray that the Lord is going to come through for them and come through for them quickly. That is our prayer. But for the rest of us, we are having a different kind of a disease. Those of us who are not positive, those of us who are not positive with coronavirus so far, we are having a serious problem. And you know what? We are positive with fear. Oh yes. We are positive with fear. Fear that we might catch it. And so, we have two sets of people who are sick. In fact, three. Three sets. Set number one are those who are positive. Those who are positive are sick and they are in pain and they are seeking God to come through for them and heal them. And our prayers continued, continues to them. We have another category of sick people. Those who are not positive yet, but they have been identified as people who have had contact with the people who are positive. Now, those are the people in quarantine. They are the people in isolation, awaiting to see whether they are going to develop the full-blown uh, symptoms of this coronavirus. Now, those ones, their sickness is called anxiety. And then, of course, my friend, most likely you and me are in this other third category. We are not positive. We have not been identified as people who have had contact with people who are positive. So we don't have the disease and we don't have the disease called anxiety. But we have a di an another disease, the disease that is called fear. Now, I want to speak to you who is anxious and I want to speak to you who is fearful. And there is only one solution because you are anxious and you are fearful. You cannot be taken in to be treated for corona because you are not sick. You are potentially sick. But you don't have the corona. So what do you have? You have anxiety. That is if you are in quarantine. Those of you who came to the country. And they are awaiting their period of self-quarantine. Or mandatory quarantine. You are anxious. You don't know what the results will be. And in your moment of anxiety. I want to lead you to a rock. The rock that is higher than you. And then there is the rest of us. What we call the Muige of Gadagu. Uh, the rest of us, we are fearful. 
every time you get into a matato you don't know who you have gotten into contact with every time you go to the shop you don't know whether you have gotten this thing fear we are in grip of fear i want to tell you that the only antidote for fear is trust in god so what you need to do is do what you must do wash your hands keep your distance don't go out unless you have to meaning that you have now done your part the rest is belongs to god there is nothing else you can do if you have washed your hands if you have kept your social distance if you have stayed indoors and only ventured out if you had to go out absolutely had to go out then you have done your part what you need to do is to take a daily if not an hourly dose of trusting god and that is why i am here this evening to encourage you to continue trusting in god because it is only trust in god that will be able to help us to make sense of these very uncertain times that we live in so david says in psalm 27 that for in the day of trouble the lord is going to hide him in his pavilion in his tent remember at this moment there is no temple and so the ark of the covenant is so to speak in a tent and so that was the symbol of the presence of god remember also that in the wilderness of judea the children of israel had tents and the people that lived there they had tents now there is one thing that you need to understand about life in the wilderness life in the wilderness when somebody visited you in their tent in your tent it became your responsibility to make sure that they were safe even now if somebody visits you in your house it is your responsibility to make sure that that person is safe whether from the dog if you keep dogs or from the cat or from wherever if anything happens to somebody when they have visited you and they are under your roof you are responsible now this is the kind of metaphor that david is bringing in and he is saying that because i have opted to go to the lord's temple to go to the lord's pavilion then i will not fear because it is his responsibility why else i am in him it is his responsibility to take care of me he shall hide me in his pavilion in the secret place of his tabernacle he shall hide me so the lord is able to hide you only if you are in his presence so even in these times when we are hold up in our houses it is important that we hide ourselves in the lord the lord's our rock in him we hide a shelter in the time of storm la 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 Oh Jesus is a rock in a way are lad a way are lad a way are lad oh Jesus is a rock in a way are lad a shelter in the time of storm so we are encouraged by David that we should not fear because we trust in him and we are in him and so in the day of trouble he is going to take care of us in the meantime what do we do in the meantime what do we do verse number 6 and now my head shall be lifted up above my enemies or around me therefore i will offer sacrifices of joy in his tabernacle i will sing yes i will sing praises to the lord 
For you who is anxious and for you who is fearful, I implore you to do what David did. To have joy in the presence of the Lord. And to offer a sacrifice of joy. Because if we are not joyful, then our being in the presence of God becomes meaningless. Because in the presence of the Lord is fullness of joy. The people who are sick and admitted in hospital in Bagadi and all other facilities the world over, because they are sick with this coronavirus, they cannot sing. But you and me, we can sing. And therefore, we need to take this moment and be joyful before the Lord, knowing that the Lord has spared us so far, and he has spared us so that we can rejoice in him. Even as we continue to pray for those who are sick, we have a responsibility to give to God a sacrifice of joy through singing to him and praising his holy name. So that is our devotion this evening. I trust that you will find joy in the Lord and I trust that even in times like this, you are going to have a reason to praise God because he is able to hide you. But in hiding you, you must hide yourself in him in order for him to hide you. So today we offer our prayers to those who are sick. We continue to offer our prayers to those who are in in, in quarantine and those who are in the grip of anxiety at this moment. And we would like to ask that the Lord is going to calm their nerves and calm their hearts and help them to trust in him for the outcome. And for the rest of us who are, who are neither sick and admitted in hospital and are not in quarantine, but we are fearful that this thing might find us, please, when you are fearful, trust God, keep doing what you must do, and leave everything to God. Our prayers continue to those who are offering services. I just heard in the news that there was a nurse who, who became positive in one of the clinics in Nairobi. And it is feared that uh, subsequently many other people have gotten, have, have gotten the, the virus. And maybe, maybe she got it from a patient she was attending to without knowing. And therefore we continue to pray for those people who are in the front line, our doctors, our nurses, the people who are working in those hospitals, whether they are cleaning or whether they are working in the, in the laboratories or whether they are working in the x-ray centers or whether they are working in the account office, wherever they are working in those facilities, our prayers go out to you. We appreciate you. We love you. We know the anxiety that you are going through and we continue to pray for you and for your families that all is going to be well. As for the rest of us, let us continue being serious as far as the precautions that we need to take is concerned. So may the Lord bless us and uh, today we are going to add with our prayer as we as we remember those people that need our prayers at this time and uh, so that the Lord can be able to visit them in a very special way and as usual it is a pleasure to have you here so shall we bow in prayer and shall we trust God to come forth with healing because he is able more than able to do it in the name of Jesus Christ shall we pray Gracious and everlasting Father, we bow before your presence and we thank you because of this day. As cases of positive uh, coronavirus 
pandemic continue to rise in our country we continue to put our trust in you and we continue to pray that lord you may stem the spread of this virus we continue to pray for those who are sick and we pray that lord you may touch them with your healing hand because you are the great healer who is able to heal them we continue to pray for those who are taking care of them the doctors the nurses all those people who are working in the medical field we commit them before your presence and we pray that you remember them and bless them we continue to pray for those who are in isolation those who are quarantined because they have had contact with people who are positive at this moment of great anxiety we pray that lord you may remember them and for the rest of us who are neither quarantined nor all sick in hospitals we pray that lord you are going to help us to rise above our fears and to trust you this night we want to commit ourselves to you and we pray that even through this season you may give us a song in the night even as we wait for the breaking of day hide us in your tabernacle o god because you are the only shelter in the time of storm hear us for we pray this in jesus name amen thank you very much for finding time to to be here we we shall keep it here every evening at eight o'clock east african time and it is my prayer that uh, we are going to be blessed together as usual we are going to upload the the video for those of you who maybe have joined us late so that you can be able to to follow us we are also going to upload the video on youtube and i continue to urge my viewers here if you can visit the youtube channel and subscribe like and share my youtube channel is revwaigwa revredwaigwa budhia if you visit youtube you will find my channel there we are required by youtube to have at least a thousand subscriptions so that we can be able to broadcast live from youtube so if you if you go there like our page like my page subscribe share uh, that would be a blessing you will have contributed in the spread of the gospel so may the lord bless you keep calm and one final thought before i leave you is that we have been we, we have been in a rat race and during this time of slow down or lockdown or whatever you call it do you know that you have so much time in your hands why are you spending that time worrying you know some of you have never had a a, a break and this time round we have a break that we never anticipated why don't you use this break nicely instead of complaining and instead of counting your losses i know there are many losses but if you don't belong to that category of people who feed from heart to mouth and i know that if you can afford facebook bados you don't belong to that category so if you are watching me here you don't belong to the category of hard to mouth there are people who really must go out every day because if they don't go out they they will not eat and therefore they don't even have the luxury of buying bados to go to facebook now if you are watching me it means that you have the luxury you belong to the to the few people who are privileged now why don't you take this time positively instead of complaining why don't you this use this time hmm, to rewind who knows the next time you are going to have a time like this a day or two take a day take two days relax i know you are counting losses because your company is not making the money that it used to make fine but for for your own sake and for the sake of your health why don't you slow down a bit and enjoy 
the moment that God has given you and ask yourself, what is God talking to me about? Take this break. It's not going to last for too long. But in all things, we have a God who is able to hide us in his pavilion when the storms rage. So I will leave you with uh, Tufani in Apovuma. And this particular song is sung by Elizabeth Nyambura. May God bless you. And hope to see you tomorrow at the same time. Tufani in Apovuma. Fani na povuma Sana moyo ni mwangu Sana moyo ni mwangu Ona pa kujificha mkono ni mwa Mungu Unificha unificha God bless you. See you tomorrow. Keep safe.